let's talk about this place. I've done a lot of traveling, but this has been one of the most surreal trips I've ever been on. A huge part of it is, of course, the spontaneity of the entire thing. I actually don't know if I've ever mentioned how this whole trip came about. So a few months ago, there was a flight deal that popped up out of nowhere to go to Australia round trip for around five to six hundred dollars. So I messaged Drew and I said, hey, do you want to go to Australia? And he said, yes. Long story short, we booked the trip. We had no idea whether we'd actually be able to go. All of the details we had no idea about, but we decided to book the trip because we wanted to go. As it got closer to the time, we realized that we could actually go, so we kind of reorganized our lives for these 10 days to make this whole trip a reality. Fast forward to May 1, I hop on a plane, go to Phoenix, and then we hop on a plane and head to Australia. So that's what makes this whole trip surreal. It just happened out of nowhere. I always knew that I would be going to Australia at some point in my life, at least a few times, but I didn't know it would be right now. And this place is beautiful. It's, it's so, beautiful that it's almost fake. Everywhere that you look is like refined, it's clean. The city is just beautiful. Uh, the harbor, of course, is beautiful. The Sydney Opera House is just insanely huge and overwhelming. Bondi Beach, the beach town that we're staying in, is a lot of fun. It's, it's, got, a, it's got a lot of character to it. And of course, the scenery is just amazing. And if you've been listening closely for the past 30 seconds or so, you'll probably notice that I haven't said anything about the people. That's what I want to talk about. I've been fortunate enough to have visited a lot of different places in the world and experienced a lot of different cultures. With that cultural experience comes the opportunity to meet people from these different places and try to understand what their daily life is like. For me, that's my favorite part of traveling. It's the trying to fit in aspect of the whole experience. There's nothing more that I enjoy than to walk into a shop or go get dinner and have interactions in a way that the people I'm interacting with don't think that I'm from out of town or at least they don't judge me for being out of town because of the way that I've carried myself. In other countries that aren't Australia that I've traveled to, language is a huge barrier. So when I studied abroad, I had several months to try to break that barrier. I had several months to try to learn the ways of the place that I lived in so I could try to fit in. And it's not just Italy, it's the same battle for anywhere else that is not your home, and especially anywhere else that, that speaks a different language. So perhaps my first mistake here was assuming that it might be easier to fit in because the language barrier isn't really there. Yes, we speak differently because of our accents, but speaking and being able to converse and being, un being able to understand what the other person is saying, that issue is not there. But oddly enough, I have felt more like an outsider here in Australia than I ever have anywhere else that I've traveled in the world. I clearly don't have the same accent, but I have every bit of the manners, I have every bit of the care, every bit of, you know, the willingness and, and the want to carry a great conversation as anyone else. But the first thing that anyone does pretty much when we walk into a restaurant or when we go somewhere is they verbally identify us as Americans. Or we have people make fun of some of the things that we say to our face. I will say that it's a lot of times in jest. But there's, there's that undertone that we have kind of gathered since we've been here of just kind of like, we're unwelcome. And I don't think we're asking to be welcomed. I think we're just asking for the chance to be welcome. When I was in Bonn, Germany walking around, I stumbled into a like coffee and chocolate shop. And I clearly didn't speak the language, but I had a lot of questions and I wanted to know about the coffees and I wanted to know about the chocolate. So the lady there, she spent four hours with me just chatting. She told me about everything. She let me try all sorts of things and she even helped me with the, the German pronunciations and she just brought me into her world and let me be a part of it for that moment. And to this day, it's one of the most favorite experiences that I've ever had because I get to learn about 
someone else's something without being judged. Now, I certainly don't expect to have those type of experiences everywhere I go because that's a very specialized experience. But not once did I walk into a bakery in Italy and feel judged. Not once did I go grab a bite in Canada and get judged. Not once did I experience something in Germany where I was looked down upon because I was American. But it's also not once that I felt the opposite way here. Anything that we do here, anytime we interact with somebody, we are lumped into this big category. And while no one has actually told us the name of that category, it feels like the name is Dumb Americans. And you know what? It's not very fun. It doesn't make you want to go out and meet people. It doesn't make me want to go out and experience Australian culture because everything that I have experienced when it comes to interacting with people has just been negative. It's been really frustrating and really disheartening to feel these feelings. And I know I'm not alone. I know that the issues that I'm suffering here are nothing compared to the issues that some people experience every single day of their lives. But if this is the way that it feels to be judged and treated differently just because of who you are, this has to stop. As a general statement, do we as Americans, is, is this how we are? Is this how we treat the people that come into our country and want to be a part of what we do? Is this what they feel like? Are we this subtly disrespectful to people who are not from our country? Is, is that actually what we do? Because if it is, I feel totally blind. I feel like this totally missed me. Now, I know that I've thought thoughts like this before, and I've wondered about America as a culture and how we treat other people. I've, I've thought those thoughts, and I've been like, yeah, this is not right, we should change this. But boy, I've never experienced it like I've experienced it here. A place where you feel like you can fit in, a place where you feel like you should fit in, and you don't because others don't allow you to. This experience certainly turned my world upside down. So I don't know if I have any real point to this video, but moving forward, I have to change the way that I think about these types of situations. And I have to change my actions. I've never actively tried to make someone feel excluded from a situation or make them feel uncomfortable for not being the same way that I am. But on the same token, maybe I have and I just didn't know it. Maybe we do that every single day and we have no idea. That's a really uncomfortable thought. So it's my goal from here forward to be just more aware of those types of things. Be more cognizant of the situation that I'm in and the situation that others are in. Because you never know when you have the power to change someone's life. I don't know if that girl in the German coffee shop, her name was Darla by the way, I don't know if she had any idea that she was gonna change someone's life that day. But she did, she changed mine. She welcomed me into her home, she spent time with me and treated me like just another person, another human being. I'll never forget those four hours and I'll never forget what those four hours represent. I don't really believe too many religious things but I do believe that we are all in this together, this whole thing that we call life. And for us to be pushing ourselves away from each other, categorizing each other, I think is doing the opposite of what we should be doing. Australia, I love you. And that's why I'm extending my hand. I accept you for who you are, and I want to learn everything about you. But you have to let me. And even if you don't want me to, at least try not to judge me for trying to do so.